What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you a cool trick that makes it where if someone clicks on your graph in Excel, then it will be taken to the source of the data that is used inside of your graph. So here we have an example of world population by year that is just put into a simple line chart. Now you can't have a hyperlink directly placed in the graph. So if you right click on the graph, you want to go to put a hyperlink in there. There's not an option to do so, but you can have a hyperlink attached to a shape. So to do this, we're just going to simply insert a shape. So going to the insert tab, go to illustrations, click on shape, and you're now going to want to select a rectangle, for example, because that's going to fit on this graph pretty nicely. And you're just going to draw the rectangle around the graph, like so. Now we're going to format the rectangle a bit. So after having the shape in the graph, you're going to see an option for shape format. And here we're going to adjust the shape fill to be white and the shape outline to be nil. So no outline. And we're going to, if you haven't already, you can right click on the graph, go to the very bottom, and then click format shape. And once you click on format shape, you're going to see this option right here to format the shape. Now we're going to want to adjust the fill to either be no fill, or we're going to have solid fill with 100% transparency. I'm just going to click on no fill. So now you can see our shape is transparent and see through. So going back to the shape that we have inserted, I'm going to now right click on the shape, and then I'm going to click on link. And I'm going to go to insert link. So click on link. And then we're going to want to look at go to existing file web page, not a document per se, but we are going to want to have an address. So we're going to copy and paste the address that we have, which is that one right there. And we're going to click OK. And now if someone clicks on the shape, it will be taken to the web page that the data is this was the data that's used the graph. Now all I want to do is want to get these two items and link them together. So hold down the control key. We're going to want to grab these two items. It can be a bit tricky. Um, it can be a bit tricky if they're kind of shaped differently. But we're going to want to grab the two items, get to shape format, and then you're going to want to click on group towards the right under the range grouping and click on group. And now we have this pretty cool objects that we if we move it around. We have a graph that, if we click on it, um, it will, will take us to the source of the data that's used in the graph. And and you can adjust the you know the graph as you want to. Like you can adjust the shape and however needs your meets your needs. But I just thought this was a pretty cool trick. So if you like it, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.